horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high of silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early days of the western United States. His strength and courage were always on the side of right against might. No man could match his daring and resourcefulness. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young and the Lone Ranger was fighting the greatest battle of his entire career. the south of Spanish Flats and close to the treacherous Rio Grande, a small group of vicious outlaws met in a rocky glade. Each one was a leader in his own right, and when all had arrived and tethered their horses, close by a slim man with muscles of whipcord stepped into the center of the group. He paused a moment for attention, then spoke to the others in a voice as cold as chill steel. Well, I see that Step got in touch with all of us. All of us that are left alive, anyhow. Yeah. And then maybe he told you the big boss said I was to take charge of this. To give all the orders. Yeah, he did. Anybody got any objections? You, Buzzard? I reckon you're the man with his job, Dirk. Nolan? All right with me. Yeah, don't nobody keep still now and kick later. If any of you don't like the notion of taking my orders, speak up now with his time. We're the net settled. Now to get on with it. There's three fellas, maybe a fourth if it's true we're still living, who've been raising Cain with us. The three we know about for sure are Graham, that's the hombre that owns that big ranch, Arizona Lawson, the gent with a dog that hunts wolves, and Tonto, the redskin. Tonto is a Lone Ranger sidekick. I guess you've all heard of that hombre. <laughs> well, the masked man's the fourth. Gunner was supposed to have killed him. But lately, I've heard there's a chance that he's still living. Just before they hung Mendoza, he swore up and down it was the Lone Ranger tricked him into attacking Laramie when Laramie and his gang had the sheriff cornered. Yeah, yeah, I know. Two months ago at a meeting like this, boys, there would have been a dozen of us. But now, look. Gunner's gone. Turk Rigby. Red Camp. Laramie and Mendoza. Boys, that ain't the worst. Two months ago, we had this part of the country in the hollow of our hand. There wasn't nobody. There wasn't nobody inside the law or out there to open his mouth again us, except in Graham. Not even the sheriff. But now, because we've had some tough luck, where well, they're feeling their oats and they're raring to go. Boys, we're sitting on blasting powder. With a short fuse. Yeah. But so there's just one answer to that, fellas. Either we get things under control again, or we're through. What's the big boss say? Yeah, to show folks around here just who is boss. How? Oh. By striking hard, fast, and often. Meaning? I mean that until things are back like they was, we're letting everything else go. Now, each one of us has been after all the cash he can get. Well, from now on, that'll come second. Some of us have had one kind of work to do, some of us another. But now we all got just the same job. And that, sir? Round up your men, see to your horses and guns. Starting tomorrow, we smash them. Ray, burn, blast the coyotes to glory. We're fighting our way back on top.
They come during the night. They never give us no warning. Busted in the door, shot down Sam when he weren't even armed. You're to blame for that, Mr. Graham. Why couldn't you leave good enough alone? Why'd you have to call a lone ranger and chant on Arizona Lawson here? If you hadn't done that, them outlaws would have left us alone. Mrs. Larson, please sit down. Come on, sit down in your house. You're tired and overwrought. Ain't I got a right with my husband killed and my home burned down? Isn't that all the more reason for me to continue the work I've started? Would you want me to stop while killers and thieves can still do such things around Spanish flats? We were so happy. You still have your son? I had two boys once. There, you see... Wasn't it Gunner who murdered Ted? Yes. But that was before I'd even started this fight. Doesn't that prove you can't be sure of life, even if you do sit back and let these thieves have their own way? Men, good men, honest men, lost their lives. Lost their lives when not a one of us had the courage to fight for decency and law. But the things those crooks have done these last two days, why, there's never been anything like it. Because they're desperate. They know they're being defeated. We wasn't the only ones burnt out. I could name you a dozen. I know. I've heard. No, Sam wasn't the only one shot. No, nor is it likely we've seen the end of this. If anything, conditions will get worse before they're better again. But we must recognize that fact and face it. My friends and I have made a good start, Mrs. Larson. It'd be a shame to stop now. Won't nobody help you. You had almost no help anyhow. (laughs) You almost had them fooled. You almost had folks thinking they could battle them outlaws and not be made to suffer for it, but they won't be fooled like that again. You've talked to the people around? I have. And they feel as you do? They do. Then I'm sorry. But it doesn't alter things. Tonto and Arizona and I hoped that finally we'd arouse all of you to the point where you'd have the courage to fight for yourselves. <laughs> but if you haven't, well, we'd just have to carry on alone. Mr. Graham. Yes? Ted's gone. And Sam's gone. All that's left to me now is my boy, Frank. A good boy, too. But I warn you, if anything should happen to him and it's on account of this war you started, I'll see that you're punished if it's the last thing I do. If anything does happen to Frank... Well? The blame will not be ours, but on the outlaws who made this war necessary. Well, that's what I come to say, and you needn't think I don't mean it. Very well, but I... What's the idea? Oh, here we are. Get in there. You needn't push me. Come on, Tonto. Uh, What's this, Arizona? Graham, we found this Omri hiding in a straw stack. Half the place where he'd work had been burned down. Said he heard the crooks had done it making some more plans. But he wouldn't tell us nothing until he'd seen you. Mister, you're here. Now you'd better open up before I go to work on you. I ain't telling nothing till I know I ain't going to be harmed by it. You can't make me tell. What is it, man? Out with it. You promise they won't get me, Mr. Graham? You give me your word? No one will touch you. If you know anything, tell us. Tonight? Well? Uh, just about sundown, I mean. Oh, go to quit your soul. Oh, you let go. Leave alone, Arizona. He's frightened enough now. Go on, man. They, they're going to raid Mr. Mander's place. Oh, poor man. You know that for a fact. It's the truth, Mr. Graham. I swear it is. Heard them crooks talking. They didn't know I was anywhere around. And you couldn't tell Arizona or Tonto... You had to wait to come here before you let us know? I never heard of them till just lately. How'd I know they wouldn't get me in trouble for it? You've waited so long, we've hardly got time to get there. But I just... Crazy, heard... idiot. Uh, Tonto, run out to the bunkhouse and get all my men. Tell them to saddle and bring their arms. Uh, Tonto, to do it. Hurry. You go to town, Arizona, and tell the sheriff. Right. Tell him if he wants to help, fine. But if he won't, he can go to Thunder. I'll tell him plenty. Mrs. Larson, you'll have to excuse me. Well, I... Uh... And you, you'd better come, too. No, sirree. He ain't going to get me to go up again, them crooks. I've done too much already. He ain't going to make me stir. Uh, stay here, then. It doesn't matter. We need men. Hi there. Get to the saddle. We're riding. Mander's place below us. They've not got here yet. No need to go down there, though. We wouldn't get any better reception than anywhere else. Spread out and take the cover. Those coyotes show up, wait for my signal, then let them have it. Go on, get out of sight. How do you stay with me? Yeah. You get behind that ridge. Come on. Get him up, Scott. Come on, boy. Get, get him up. Come on. <laughs> We 
take a long time. Then not come. I can't understand it. Think they could have seen us ride up, Tonto. Mm, not know. Almost two hours past sundown now. Ah. I don't like to think we're just wasting our time. That's right. But on the other hand, if we left and they showed up afterwards, we'd never get through blaming ourselves. Ah. Wait. What matter? Listen. That might be them now. Well, that's just one horse. Oh. Ride fast, though. Wonder who the dickens it is. It's Arizona. Huh? You hear, dog? That wolf. Right. Arizona! Hi! This way! That's you, Sam! Over here! I'm over here! He's here! Where's the sheriff? What's up? Just a second! Get up! Get up! Oh! 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 Oh!
I think. What was that? That window. Graham, what you going to do? See who's out there. Oh, go and be careful. Maybe it's a trick. I can't help that. I'm going to find out. What? Hey, what was that thrown in? Huh? That, who's that? Who's that just run away, Graham? Can you, can you see him? Hey, hello there. Hello. Vamoosed. Well, whoever he was, it looks as if he came here just to throw that stone through the window. Pick it up, Tonto. It's not stone. Huh? It's bullet. What do you mean? It's bullet. A silver. And here, here message. It wrapped round bullet. Oh, a bullet of silver? Why, why, that must mean... It's Lone Ranger. Then, then that must have been the masked man that rode away just now. Wouldn't answer when we called. Uh. Well, I'll be... Tonto, what's that message say? Who? Who got a name Frank Larson? Frank Larson? His mother was here this afternoon. And what him do? Didn't you say the kid had some kind of a job in the railroad, Graham? He's the operator and agent at Roseville. Where's that? About 40 miles northeast of Spanish Flats. It's not a town, really. Just a siding where cattle are loaded occasionally. Why? What's Frank Larson and Roseville to do with that note? Yeah. You won't read it. Down, boy. Down. Uh, Tonto, you sure you savvy what you're doing? I kind of hate to pack it. Leave this place. It's a right good place to camp. Me know what me do. Well, if you say so. There, there. blanket. Make roll. Tie saddle. Uh-huh. Then we leave. last night weren't worth doing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Town folks running around like chickens with their heads cut off. <laughs> and when I think of Graham and Tonto waiting at the Manders' place half of the evening on my say-so. <laughs> well, I'd have given a meal just to see their faces when they learned the truth. Honest, I'd have given two million. Well, you handled that all right. Didn't I, though? <laughs> yeah, so far everything we figured on has gone through the way it was playing. We got them turning yellow again, boys. Finish the job the way we started, and they'll never make us trouble no more. You're right, Dirk. Oh, there comes the buzzard. Huh? Oh. Hi. Uh, Let's see what he's got to say. Uh, uh, oh, boy. Uh. Howdy, boys. Howdy, boys. Hello, Dirk. Hi. Morning, Nolan. Morning. Well, where, Dirk? Reckon our worry's just about over. <laughs> yeah? What do you mean? I hung around Graham's place just like you said. Yeah, huh? First off, the folks in town was out there raising cane. Didn't leave till Graham's crew showed their iron. Yeah. What else happened? Mm, nothing much as long as I stayed by the ranch house. Crew drifted along the bunkhouse after a while. Once I heard some fella gallop off on the far side of the house. Didn't get a good look at him. Uh-huh. But that ain't what's important. Later on, Tonto and Arizona came out. They cut over west, and I followed. <laughs> guess where they was going. Get on with it. Their camp. <laughs> and guess what they done when they got there. Come on, Ed. Tell what you got to tell and get it over with. <laughs> they packed up and headed north. Huh? Don't you see, Dirk? They're pulling stakes. They're clearing out. Where are they? How do you know? Ain't that doing a heap of guessing? <laughs> yeah. Would be if that was all I had to go on. But it ain't. I heard them talking for the road off. Yeah. And they said if even the folks they was trying to help would turn again them, they were through. Said they'd had enough. They're gone and they ain't coming back. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of that? You sure they said that? Buzzard, you sure you didn't hear it because you wanted to hear it? <laughs> think I'm a fool? Well, I just asked. What do you say, Dirk? Man, we've all heard the news. Go through with what, what we planned for tonight... And I reckon our job is done. (laughs) 
Is that the dispatcher calling you, son? Uh-uh. Right now he's talking to the operator on down the line. Oh. What train's that outside? <laughs> Ma, you can ask more questions in a room full of school, Ma. Chuck, that ain't no train. Just a switch engine. Switch engine? Yeah, I've been here almost a week now. Lady J and Dick Barton's pair have been shipping cattle. Well, Ma, you, uh, you ain't told me yet if they've caught any of them skunks at Raider Town. Nary a one. Won't either. No? <laughs> they ain't loco. What can the law do? What can any of us do against outlaws like them? Got half a dozen gangs. Got hundreds of square miles of hills and canyons to hide out in. Don't care whether they kill or not. In fact, they'd rather. And behind them, making their plans and giving them their orders, that boss of theirs nobody's ever been able to learn anything about. <laughs> no, son. The best thing to do is walk soft and try to keep from rallying them. Well, maybe... Oh, gosh, what time's that clock say? Uh, 11.30. Oh, it's all near midnight. And the eastbound almost pulling in the Spanish plants right now. Hey, Ma, stand aside from that telegraph. Son, key. what's wrong? Well, I have to get a hold of the operator there so we tell the conductor to stop back by the side when they get here. Why, son? Because if the eastbound don't, it's going to go slap bang into just about 50 dozen cattle cars. Oh. So I better hurry that. Oh, what the... What's that key, young fellow, and you stop late? Well, i got to send a message. I reckon not. But if I don't, there'll be a smash-up. Yeah. I know. Now, that's her whistling. Hey, keep back in the shadows. You recollect what Dirk told you? That that's the train. What if it is? Ain't we going to stop? We up? ain't stern till after it's hit. Think everything's all right, Nolan? Shouldn't Dirk have come around? He's keeping guard over young Larson at the station. How could he? Thought maybe he might bring the kid here. Wasn't no need of it. Hear that? He's tearing right along. Yeah, won't be long now. The station's just the other side of that line of trees. You hear the crash plane. Wish we could see it. You'll stay under cover till we know nothing's gone wrong. Now, shut up. Mm. She's passing. You can see her headlight. Get ready, fellas. When she hits, we ride. Must be almost at the station now. What's wrong? Huh? Are you taking a long time? Wait. Wait. I don't know you was trailing us. You said that just to fool you. Wait. You said it, fella. We ride. Tell train crew. And they loaded the eastbound with every tough army they had on the payroll. Was it you dirty double-crosser? I bet you worked with them. You fixed this up. You told them just what we was playing. No, no, I didn't, honest fellas. I never said a word. You can't blame me. If I thought you did, buzzard, I'd shoot you down even if they got me right afterwards. No, no. Shut up. Shut up. No, gents. Where's this fellow you called buzzard gave your game away? Well, then who was... It was a man you ain't never laid eyes on. Even though he was spying on your camp when you schemed to do this. What? He sent us your scheme on a bullet. A bullet? A bullet, a bullet of silver. Silver? And if you want to know what to call him, just say the Lone Ranger. <laughs> The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. 